Hey folks, it's Simon here with your Tau Daily for the 3rd of October, 2024. Looking at the SPY, we're still in the box, all right? We're still in a chop zone. Now we had a little bit of a flush early Wednesday morning. Um, the market managed to close in the green just, and it used this, this breakout line that I've drawn on here really a support all right so it kind of tested the bottom of the box and held the test so spy looks bullish here all right we're, we're near all-time highs green momentum bars we've got trend structure everything here still looks pretty good if we look at the nasdaq looking at the cues as a proxy the picture is a little less clear because we're not at all-time highs i think we'll probably get there whether we get there in a straight line or not remains to be seen. But clearly the NASDAQ, which is uh, largely influenced by the tech sector, is looking less bullish. What we've seen with tech is it, uh, it, it has underperformed the S&P year to date, as has the NASDAQ. And, and really tech here is just looking kind of choppy. It hasn't been able to make higher highs and higher lows. The best performing sector year to date remains the semiconductors. They're still up about 17%. Uh, sorry, they're still up. In fact, I can tell you exactly if we bring up my tower dashboard. So SMH um, up 38% year to date, uh, outperformed by almost 18%. Um, XLU is the second best performing sector. Uh, XLC is number three. XLF is number four. And SPY and then industrials and see tech is uh, Tech's underperformed by almost 5%. Uh, XLP, consumer discretionary, is also underperformed. But it's generally been, aside from semiconductors, the more conservative defensive sectors that have been performing well. So XLU has been amazing. XLC is a bit of a, a mixed bag. It's got uh, some growthy stocks like Google and Meta, but also some defensive stocks like the telcos. But that one is, is looking really good. That's broken out to new highs. Um, the financials here... Bit of sideways consolidation, all right? This could end up being a bull flag. Uh, too early to call it a change of trend. If we look at industrials, industrials here still look amazing at, uh, at all-time highs. If we look at consumer staples, uh, this one looks like it may be about to roll over. Okay, it's lost a little little bit of support here. It's testing support here. Um, you can see the momentum bars have turned red. We're maybe about to lose trend structure. All right, so consumer staples is a, is a much lower priority for me at the moment from a trend trading perspective. Um, XLK, we've already looked at. That's pretty sideways and choppy. Let's have a look at XLV, healthcare, which is another big sector. Uh, and you can see this one, we've actually lost trend, trend structure. This one has rolled over. And we've, we've kind of gone from an uptrend to a, a short-term downtrend here. Uh, you can see that because we've got now a pattern of uh, lower highs and lower lows. So these are the sorts of developments we want to watch out for, not only to inform us which sectors we want to be trading, but if we see this sort of development happening, happening across a number of sectors, uh, that, that, would, that will eventually put SPY at risk as well. That's what I got for you today. I hope it helps and I'll catch you tomorrow. Thank you.